Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. The city-sponsored Extreme 5K race is set for October 19th. Sign up now. And we held a pep rally to celebrate Papillion being named one of the best places to live for 10 years in a row. We'll take a look back at that event. Papillion hosted the Sarpy Chambers Economic Outlook at Trinity Village. The Chamber's president has some follow-up comments. Please enjoy City Happenings for the week of October 7th. Thanks, Mayor Black. The second annual Extreme 5K race is set to go on October 19th. It's just uh, getting out there and seeing if you can accomplish it. I mean, we try to make it difficult so people uh, have to put a little bit of extra effort in it. It's not, it's not generally a race like the other, other races that we do. Um, we do time it, but it's more or less to, um, to, for you to see how good you did in the race. Uh, but it's just kind of a challenge and to say when you cross that finish line like man I did that. We got very positive feedback. Um, a lot of people said we were better than the Warrior Dash which is a nationally known event uh, which it's good to hear that you know because we did uh, kind of threw this together we didn't really know what to expect um, but I think with the support of the city staff and all the city departments uh, it, our races tend to be a little bit better than some of the other ones because we get that support from everybody here in the city. People can register online right now at papillionraceseries.com. Um, we take registrations all the way up until a couple days before the event. I encourage you to register now. Um, and we are limited on the amount of people you can take, so get your registration as soon as possible. Yeah, I would say if I ever have an opportunity to do this race, I would love to get out there and give it a try. The city held a pep rally to celebrate Papillion being chosen as one of the best places to live for 10 straight years. The mayor says that's nice, but we can't focus on those surveys. An example of maybe a change in criteria where we would totally fall off the list is, and there's been a poll that's done this, they may say, based on the national story, the best thing about a small town is it's not close to a metro. It doesn't want an urban ring city or something like that. And they may put in criteria that automatically makes anybody within a metro area, make it up, and within an hour of a metro area, fall off the list. That could very easily happen. And again, that's why I don't want to be chasing the awards and gauge our success by the awards. But knowing what they've looked at and that we've gotten the awards, it's a great thing. Some people may say, do they matter? Where they, I think where it matters is when it comes to economic development. There's always a sense of community pride, but again, I want to be careful that we don't get an ego around this, but where it does make a difference for a period of time is economic development. If somebody is saying, is looking for a place to go, we know, I know we've had conversations with businesses that called here because they found out about us when they are doing their own due diligence of, we want to move somewhere in the Midwest. We want to be around a metro area. Where would we look? and the data is out there. Papillion's been on this list five or six times. We will raise up in that due diligence as a place to call. Does a neighboring city get that same call? May not. And also, if we're just out trying to recruit or have a conversation with a business, we tout ourselves and we say, here's the great things and why you want to come here. But then we can say, oh, by the way, it's not us just telling you and you need to trust us. Here's some external validation of what we're saying. And when we can say external validation of CNN Money Magazine over and over and over and over and over, it does not hurt. And it gives some credibility and helps establish the trust. I have a good number of residents that come to me and it's usually at some event. It might be out at the amphitheater on a movie night or it might be at the First Street Plaza when some band's playing or it might be during Winter Wonderland or it may just even be in the park when there's a baseball game going on. But multiple, multiple, multiple times over the course of the year, I will have people come up and say, this is why I love living here. This is the best place to live. And, and you can start hearing some of the things that are repeated, the best place to live. Or they'll even mention, this is why we get recognized. And I'll say, why? And then they'll point, well, Papillion Days, or Winter Wonderland, or concerts at the plaza, or amphitheater, or schools. Um, it happens over and over and over, and it's usually at some event or some community when the community's together. But the comments are made. Um, residents are proud, and they have a right to be proud. The Sarpy Chamber Economic Outlook was once again held at Trinity Village in Papillion. 
Chamber President Wendy Ritchie gives follow-up comments. You know, it's a chance for the business community to come together, civic leaders to come together, and really share with each other what their vision is for Tarpey County. Um, you know, the, the mayors can't do it alone, the county can't do it alone, the chamber can't do it alone, but combined, um, I think that with all the vision and all the talent that's in this area, we can certainly make Sarpy County what everyone wants it to be. It would appear the economic outlook premise is evolving. I think you're saying it correctly, and that's really what we want it to become, a place where, okay, this is a hub that we get together once a year and really brainstorm with ideas and, you know, what are our challenges, um, what are our weaknesses, what are our strengths, and, and go with that. Um, there's a lot of great minds in this community that have great visions as to where they want it to go and I think um, just to get on the same page and hear what other people are doing is, is awfully important. So I hope it inspires some of the people in the audience to really put forth their, um, their strengths, their knowledge, their experience in making Sarpy County grow even bigger and better than it is. We're already into October. I want to remind you that the Sumter Amphitheater is available for private events and don't forget our hay rack rides. Call our recreation department for more details. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. There's also the new City app. It's available from the Apple App Store and the Android Marketplace. And of course, information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the mayor's hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.